Hey guys, here's this week's quick tip for luthiers. Let's say you're designing a guitar, but you're not really sure what angle to make the headstock. Don't worry about it. Pick an angle that you think looks aesthetically pleasing. Here's why. Let's say we have a magic guitar. And the reason it's magic is because the headstock can be adjusted to whatever angle I want, whenever I want to adjust it. I can make it 10 degrees, I can make it 17, 13, whatever. We start out by putting a string on the guitar. And before we tune it, we just drop it onto the nut. At that point, the only downward force that's being applied to the nut is weight, and that's gravity. So let's say it, it, with the headstock at zero degrees, we tune the string to play a, you know any note. It could be an A, let's say. Um, once we've tuned it to A, we've introduced string tension. And that tension can only be measured along its length because it's at zero degrees. The string um, is, is absolutely flat and there's nothing pushing against it. Yes, it's laying on the nut, but the nut isn't pressing against it. There's absolutely no pressure. It's at zero degrees. So that tension that's in the string is just in the string. You can measure it at either end, but it's not being exerted out in, in any direction. Let's say we decide to uh, change the angle of the headstock to five degrees. As we change that angle and push it down, what we're effectively doing is pushing the nut up against the string. And as you do that, what happens is, is you're converting the tension that's in the string into downward force. So that, that tension is converted to downward force and it joins the gravity that's already present, which is minimal. And it increases, uh, the, the total amount of force that's being applied down on the, to the nut. However, at the same time that that's happening, you're pulling the string out of tune. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, the nut is now introduced to the string and that shortens the scale length. Second, by pushing up against it, you're increasing the amount of tension that's pulling on both ends of the string. So, and that's, I think, where people get, get confused about um, what's happening with angled headstock. You're pushing up, but at the same time, like I said, you're pulling that string out of tune. So to get it back into tune to that A note that we were um, tuned to at the beginning when it was at zero degrees, we have to loosen the string. So we, we adjust the tuner to loosen that tension to bring the string back to that note that we uh, originally had at zero degrees, the A note. Once at five degrees we have the, the guitar tuned so that that string plays the A note, we've reduced the tension that's being converted to downward force at the net to back to almost where it was when it was at zero degrees. If you change the headstock down to 10 or even say 17 degrees, you're continuing to do the same thing. You're increasing the, in, the tension, which is increasing the amount of downward force because that tension is being converted to downward force, but you're pulling the string out of tune. So to get it back into tune, you have to continue to further loosen the string to bring it back, which brings that amount of tension being converted to downward force back to the same as it was when it was at five degrees or 10 degrees, if you're at 17. So as you can see, um, increasing the headstock angle doesn't really change that much in terms of downward force. Now, some people will say, yeah, but I can tell the difference between a guitar that's at, has a 17 degree headstock and a guitar that has a 10 degree headstock. Well, you have to take all factors into consideration. First of all, to compare a headstock at 17 degrees with a headstock at 10 degrees, the guitar has to be identical. It has to have the same scale length. It has to be equipped with the same strings any difference. If the scale length is different, if the strings are different, it's going to feel different. So really, you can't make those kind of comparison unless things are exactly the same. That's why I said uh, or used as an example a magic guitar with an adjustable headstock because nothing else has changed. Scale length is the same and we have the same strings on it. So if you're designing a guitar and you're trying to decide what headstock angle uh, to use, I would say uh, go with what you feel looks better before you start to worry too much about uh, string tension and downward force because you're, you're, you'll end up barking up the wrong tree anyway. So that's it for this week.